guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft here with Miner J and off into the farm area. And for today, my project is finally come up with a new beef farm or a steak farm that I can actually enjoy. Or actually works well. Not that I enjoy it, but um, I had this design. It was the design I kind of found online. And it did work well. I'm just going to deactivate this here. Because in those dispensers is lava. If I don't deactivate it, we could have a little bit of a lava accident. And while you guys might want to see that, I'm not looking forward to filming that. So just playing around online, or just playing around... I came up with this idea, or another, a new idea, and it was kind of, where was I, I was watching a video by Azumavoid, I think it was, it's where I came up with this idea. He did something similar, but not, so um, I'll give him a, sh kind of give him part of the credit for it anyways. So, I'm just going to tear all of this out. Um, I'm kind of... Oops. Is that, can that one come out? As you see, i got to be a little bit careful on what I take out and what I don't take out. Otherwise, I could, could be raining cows in here. I'm going to try and leave those all up until the end. And just bring those out just at the end. Oh, we got to stare up there. Okay, so I'm going to clear this all out, and I'm just going to start prepping this. I will need a pit in here, what is it, about three to four deep. And it'll kind of, the length doesn't matter too much, but we'll make it go to about here and such. So I'm going to dig this all out, guys, and then I will come back once that's all done. So hang on. Hey guys, we're back here now. Um, so I've started digging this all out. I've started to prep all of this. And the way it's going to work is we're a little bit below our floor height. Um, we're going to have three rows of cows in here. We're going to have some dispensers here. So let's start putting in some dispensers. Probably do that from here. Oops, looks like we got a hole there. So dispensers across this way. We'll have redstone in behind there that'll activate our dispensers. Let's see. Okay, some buckets now. Fill those up with water. And the only closest place I know is just right in here. Oh, that's not quite going to work. I found this, as I was digging this all out, I found this little cave area. I was quite shocked. I didn't know it was here. Um, I'm going to start dropping buckets everywhere. What don't we need? I don't know. Maybe that's enough buckets. I should have counted. <clears throat> so, yeah, that was kind of a little bit of a surprise when I was digging. Didn't know there was an underground cave system, but yeah. The surprises you find in Minecraft sometimes. Um, so, bucket in each of these. Okay, just keep going here. Maybe I should have done this ahead of time. Okay. Oh, a few more here. Looks like we're not going to make it. One, two, three, four. I always like to have an extra bucket of water on me just in case. One, two. Three, four. Mm -hmm. 
This is a fairly or somewhat simple design. There's not too much complex redstone to it. Um, the problem I was having with the last design is I would actually well the first my first problem was it was pretty tall and it's right behind here behind this uh, sandstone actually is the uh, is the ground above so it is really close to the top and what you do is you would climb up and on this level here you'd breed the cows they would fall in behind and then you could cook them down there and it did actually work good the only well my first problem with it is the cows would stay stationary so you wouldn't actually get uh, weren't able to breed all the cows so that was one problem I was having with it those ladders aren't going to be able to stay there but anyways uh, the second thing is quite often I would find cows glitching out and that's never fun if you're gonna have cows you or breed cows you want them to stay where they're supposed to stay um, so that was whoops, a little message there. I always thought of that one time. Maybe just when I'm putting in random signs in here, just write one big long message. That'd be kind of interesting. Maybe pointless, but interesting. So just keep putting signs all across. And what these dispensers are going to do is they're going to have water going through which will hopefully um, a flush the calves off of these platforms and b the adult cows they'll actually start jumping once they hit the water and once they start jumping um, the great part is is it allows you to feed them better so we need one two there. I'm definitely not going to have enough science. So we have that. We'll have our water stream underneath. This will be all flowing. Uh, we're going to need signs right here as well going across because to prevent the water to flow in right into this. So when the calves drop they're going to come down. They'll float off into this water stream and then right here we're going to build a um, simple water elevator that will bring them up to the surface where we'll then find some way to cook them up, kill them off. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some more signs. I'll start getting that all prepared and then I should... oh. Let's just finish this off here. Oh, this is going to be the annoying part. I'm going to just finish this up so it's just the signs we have to do. Okay, that should... doesn't need to change, but symmetrically it does. And this is actually... it's kind of a waste of half slabs, but it'll look good in the end so I just wanted to keep it that way this will let us have our redstone down and we will be able to cover it and it will keep our half slab height that we have on all our floors and part of the reason I do have like a half slab height on my floors in here is it does allow me to keep the light levels actually down which is kind of nice. You don't have to worry about... Now, what do I need to do here? Actually, got this wrong. You're going to have... double rows here. A cow, I believe, is a block and a half high. 
So, a full grown cow can't get through this, which makes it nice. <coughs> and these will actually have to go up one more even. So, let's. We can put the floor in all afterwards. Uh, okay. And we'll have this area as well. And this is just helps prevent. Oh, can we reach in behind here? I'm going to have on the end just a two area wide. So it just help prevent the calves or help, not prevent, but help help the calves fall down lower so that makes it a little bit more I just adds for a better design okay let's put this in like so I probably run out of half slabs aren't I I got a funny feeling I will but that's okay uh, that's that Let's jump over one. So you can kind of see how this is starting to take shape. We'll have the cows down in this area. When the pistons go, this area will all be flooded, so the cows will then bounce, making it easier to feed them. But not only that, it should wash off the baby calves underneath that we did breed, so that should help them. That was one thing I did find with this design is after you bred them, sometimes the calves would stay up there because it did partly rely on um, relied on or hoping that the adult calves would knock off the baby calves, and most of the time that did work, but there were times when it didn't, so that kind of added to the situation. So you can see this is starting to come around so now all we need is well let's do some redstone in while we're stuck here on water. Uh, so we're gonna have redstone we will have I guess grab oh, we got some of those blocks Let's grab some half slabs, redstone, a button. Don't need comparators. As I said, this is going to be a pretty cheap project for the most part. <coughs> um, you know what we can do? Let's take out this here. We put a block like so, and oh, how am I going to get? Oh, we can put a button on this on the side. Won't do it because we've got a torch. Pretty sure that will. There we go. And you can see that did work out pretty good. So that will hide. Oh no. <laughs> and this is the fun part. Okay. That. Oh, okay. That was weird. How that glitched out. And you can see it even changed again. That is weird. A little bit of lag on my server today, which is doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen occasionally. Okay, grab some redstone. See, I'm starting to get a lot of squid back here. I have to think of something to do with them afterwards add to this farm area. Hmm. have to work that out. Uh, this is where our cows are going to come up, our baby calves. So we could fill this in 
and we'll have some kind of cooker device there. We'll do that afterwards, but for now it looks like the biggest thing we need to do is get some signs in there. So I'm going to make some signs, grab some more water. I will put in the water underneath. I don't think you guys are wanting to watch that. And when I come back, we'll make a water elevator so that we can get baby calves up. And yeah, that should do us. So hang on, guys, and I'll be back in a bit. Three, two, one. Okay guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I got some water up there, got all the signs in. So this is where once our cows fall down, they'll just come down across this one bed of water, water stream. They'll drop off into this trough. I just have a flow of water from each end, and just so you know, this this is 12 bricks long, so this is, um, what is that? I got it indented one, so it comes at 7, so it actually creates this nice little water flow here, so the two sides meet nicely, drop one, and then come down here. So time to make a water elevator, and I'm not sure if you guys have ever made one of these. Um, they're quite interesting to make. I've never made a double one like this, and that should be interesting. Part of the reason I did this is if I made just a single one, the baby calves will just get stuck here. They won't move until they become full adults, and then they'll go up. And I'm hoping by having um, this water elevator, we're still going to get one or two stuck here, but we will get some that will hit this block and go up. So, I'm wondering, you know, just a second. If we had... Okay, guys, just got an idea here, so... No second. We're still going to end up with that, aren't we? Because they'll come in, they may go up, they may not. I wonder if we had stairs here. If we had stairs here, the water would push them, they'd go up the stairs, hit that, and then they would actually get stuck in the water elevator anyways because they're not full grown. They won't be able to jump. Uh, baby calf's only one block high. So they just get stuck there anyway. So this water elevator idea isn't going to work. Or there's no... Anyways, if you guys know how to make a water elevator that'll work for a baby calf, hey, I'd love to hear your suggestions. Right now, I'm not thinking of one. So let us go like so. We'll have it like this. Once they hit full size, they will then... So we can just start putting our signs, alternating back and forth. And let's grab some water buckets. And there we go. And next one's a water block, so just above it. Did we get it? Yeah, it's sometimes hard to get these lined up perfectly. Uh, my first idea was to have a staggered water elevator, and could have worked. May not have worked, I don't know, it's hard to say. But we'll still go with a double here. A little bit more complicated. Ah, oh, that one did not work, I don't think. Oh no, it looks like it did. Okay. 
And the next one will go right there. Nope. We are... Done. Okay. Now the fun part, trying to break a sign while bobbing up and down. Let's see if I get close to it, if that helps. Okay, this is not going to work. Let's put that like so. And we can break it once we get out. <coughs> and there we go. And we can't hop out, can we? Is it going to let us hop out? Okay, let's grab a pick. Let's just break that block there. Okay, so water elevator, really somewhat simple to make. Not too much to them. Let's grab their sign that fell down. So our baby calves will sit in that air pocket underneath once they hit full growth. They will go start going up. We can actually, I'm just going to put a block, a cobble there, because there's no need. There. Calves come in, full growth, start climbing up, and here we go. We can go like so have our next layer on that. There we go. That's that layer. That's like so. Other than that, I think, guys, we are really close to being finished here. Um... I do know we need a sign there. Let's climb up here. And some half slabs. Gonna keep that one below for a reason. And that'll be. That's where I'm gonna start placing the iron bars that we're gonna put in afterwards. So that's why that's gonna be set down by half a block. Okay. I'm going to bring this roof back down to this height after I'm done. Okay, you know what I think we need to do now? A, double check this. That looks like that is working. I'm just going to go down, just check it from the bottom, see if that's working. Got all my stuff back. Obviously that water stream washed it off. And you can see these cows are going to get washed off into a big area there. So once the water goes away, they will fall back. Okay. Now, what do we got to do here? Turn off this water. Okay, uh, let's grab some wheat. We have some wheat here. This is where it's going to get fun and interesting, guys. We'll call this little part Fun with Cows, because, yeah, cows <laughs> can get quite 
stupid to work with. Let's just cover up our redstone. Eliminate the areas for the cows to fall into. That created a pretty clean look. We can just put some around there. Let's... I don't want the cows falling in that water elevator yet. That's that. Let's just fill in this area here. Okay, I think we are ready to start getting some cows to fall into our trenches here. And this will be the interesting point. Okay, let's start falling cows. Okay. I have wheat. I have wheat. Come and get me. Come and get me. Without pushing me into a trench. Come on. Fall in. Fall in. Fall in. I... Ha ha ha. I'm just going to push you in. Come on. There you go. There's one. This is going to be the slow and painful part, is getting these cows in here. Come on. I at least need two in every one. Once I get two in every one, I will be ecstatic. And the reason for that is once I have two, I can breed that up and get the numbers up. Okay. Oh, you are so close, and now so am I. Oh, he didn't even fall. That is sad. Okay, the only way out will be Ender Pearls, and hopefully... Okay, good. I did not... Come on, cow. Get out of there. This is the fun part of this whole project, is get cows into this... Aha. Okay, come on. Go drop. Come on. <clears throat> oh, this is annoying. I would almost rather work with villagers. And you guys... I don't think I've done an episode with villagers for you guys yet. Uh, there's a reason for that is I have had terrible luck with moving villagers. Oh, there's one there. Okay. We are getting there. Come on, cows. Come on down. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. <sighs> And there we go. We got cows everywhere now. What I can do afterwards is go underneath and just fill up this area with dirt. And what that'll do is let me breed up these numbers better. So that you kind of want to get these numbers up higher. Okay. I want to get to this back one. Come on, guys. Okay, come on. Fall in. Fall in! Ugh. Looks like this middle trough, we're getting a good sized number in there. Like how I'm chasing cows around with a piece of steak. Oh, fail again. Okay, another ender pearl. Let's let my health get up a little bit. I don't want to. Ah, should be good. No, come back, cow. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Come on, you can do it. You know you want to do it. Okay. Okay, cow, I want you to go this way. Come on, do it. No, 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 come on, do it, do it, get in there. Get into the trap I have set for you. Come on, you stupid cow. Come on, fall. 
fall. There we go. Okay, one last cow. Okay. Come on, cow, get in there. Get in there. Don't. Don't be so difficult. Oh, I didn't mean to hit him. Now I got problems. Now I got a mad cow going on here. And no, my cows don't have mad cow disease. They're perfectly healthy and safe to eat. Okay, come on, cow, get in there! Oh! No, wait, I can't do that. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, let us go. Come on, cow. Let's go. Like so. Come on, you can do it. You know you want to join your friends. A life of... There we go! Got them all in there. Okay, so this back row's a little thin. This one's okay, this one's okay. We can... I will go underneath. I'll just put dirt underneath here, and that'll allow us to bring up our numbers. But I'll just show you guys quickly how this works. Um, so you press the button. See, the cows start jumping up, which actually then allows us to breed them easier. And I'm now going to have a bunch of baby cows where I don't want them. This was a really smart idea. Okay, so that's that. And then... As you can, oh, I'm not sure if you briefly saw it, but there is was a baby cow swimming by there. And yeah, let's take this one out. And you can see we got a whole bunch of baby cows. Once they become full size cows, they will then go up the elevator. So that means I gotta quickly pause this video so that I can build a cow breeder up here or a cow cooker. And then that should pretty much finish off this project, I would think. So, oh, and I gotta take all this down. So, I'm gonna clean this all up, finish off the last little bit. The cow cooker is pretty easy, straightforward design, but once I got that built, I'll show you guys what I come up with. Other than that, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in a bit here. <coughs> Okay, starting in three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back. And all finished up here with the, just get rid of that torch, with the cow breeding farm. Um, I got everything completed. I have breeded up some cows here. So it's looking good. And so we're ready for a test. I sh oh, I do have some wheat. Not much, but I have some. So all you have to do now is press the button. That'll cause these cows to start jumping. And you can sit there and now just move back and forth and spam them with wheat. And that's all the wheat I have. I should have grabbed some more. But anyways, the calves are now, because the water is flowing underneath, going to get washed off. And then should drop down into the pit below, into our water stream. Now, I do have one thing to ask you guys. Which one of you was laughing at me when I proposed to build a water tra or a water ladder to bring up the calves? Now, as as we were just showing, we built a water ladder here and we were going to have the calves come up. I'm pretty sure one of you was laughing at me about it because cows cannot go up water ladders. No, they can't. Um, I found this out the hard way. Um, it's one of those things that they just can't do. So, if it was you that was laughing at me or knowing that cows can't do this, well, hey, I salute you. I give you my pick. Here, you can have my pick. I'll keep it. Oh, wait a second. If I just leave my pick there, 
it's going to spawn away. Let's see. Um, okay, we do have an item frame in here. Let's see. Let's put this right here. And which, where is it? We'll just put it. There you are. There's my pick. I salute you for being a better Minecrafter than me. Um, I should have known that cows can't use water ladders. I should have even tested that before showing you. So in a second, I will jump down there and show you what I did. Otherwise, I do have the cows now. I found another way. Well, why don't we show you that now? Um, I'm probably just going to close this wall up here and leave the shaft. It's kind of a neat idea. But otherwise, let's go... Oh, let's eat some, so... Cause, oh, no. We have water there now. Okay, Geronimo! Okay, uh, we have the cows coming. They will just sit here and bunch up here as calves as they get older. They will get into the stream just because... As they're a calf, they don't quite travel as nice. So we'll push this guy up. And basically all we do is have a block and then stairs. And the water just goes and pushes them up. It works much better with a full-size cow. These calves kind of are a bit too small since they're under a full height. Let's bring them up. As you can see, if I let go of my direction controls, it just quickly pushes me up. Works fairly well. Um, yeah, all it is is you have a sign and then the water block right above the stairs, and that will push it in. Ooh, we're getting near the top here. Let us ender pearl. There we go. So the cows, once they hit full full size, they will actually, it does work. I have tested it. You can see I have some cows here. Now to kill the cows, uh, my first idea was a quick uh, lava pulse. And I think I've shown you this before, but all it is is a torch. And then inside the hopper we just have one item. And as soon as it goes over, turns on the comparator, powers the block. And because we're going to be coming right beside all of this, we have to have um, repeaters. Repeaters fire into this block, and our dispenser is right there. So that works out okay. And by using that, we get a quick pulse on off. And that is catching the cows on fire and they are dropping into the hoppers and that hopper goes into our main automated line that we have going on now I'm not sure if that's gonna work well enough I did put it in the second one and that just fires the dispenser once and that lava goes all the way across and you, there's a button there you can do it again so I'm not sure which way I'm gonna go with I'm thinking we're just going to use this method and pull all of that out. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how that goes. Other than that, I think that ends this project. Um, yes. Oh, it upsets me that somebody knew that I was building something wrong. Okay, let's see if we can go into a different texture pack here. Just show you what it looks like in flows. Actually, I think it'll look pretty good. There we go. Takes a second or two. Ooh, look at this. That's looking pretty smexy, guys. So, yeah, I think that pretty much eliminates this whole project. Or finishes this project. It doesn't eliminate this project. Uh, the cows are happy. They're breeding. They're giving me little cows, or which I will eventually turn. Oh, see, we got some more in there. Didn't leave that on quite enough to flush them all off. But otherwise, yeah, it is complete. It is done. It is working. 
Um, I'm going to have lots of cows, which will mean, oh, you know what? No. Wow. Lots of ADD going on today. Anyways, I'm going to have lots of cows soon, lots of steak. I love having steak. Steak, I find, keeps your hunger bar up really good. We can get rid of this here. We can just finish this. Uh, the other thing is, I do tend to go through lots of leather just because I do like making enchanted books. There we go. That finishes that off. Oh, let's grab some glass. Do we have glass in here? There we go. A little bit hard to see in this texture pack. There we go. <clears throat> That's... Oh, I'm just going to leave that open for a bit. I just want to... I might pop down there a bit more. Other than that, that does it for this project. My cow farm is now complete. Um, yeah, this works out good. And now, I guess for my next project, I need to go make a pick. Yeah. So anyways, that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate all, all of you guys with your comments and your likes. That really helps me out. So if you have any comments, please leave them below. And hey, I'm always looking for suggestions for my next video. And yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. <laughs>